What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate the auto hide feature on an ad banner. Uh, if you don't know, that's actually required by Apple and if it doesn't do it, they'll uh, not accept your app. Which is a pretty big deal because most people are going to want ads in their app if it does get accepted to the store because that's how you're going to make money. So to start, we're just going to put a label uh, just for looks. They won't even be linked, so we'll just say banner, ad banner. tutorial and we will just center that and stick it to the top so and then we are going to add an I add banner <laughs> and we're gonna put that at the bottom as you see most ads and it doesn't really matter because we are going to use constraints so I'm not going to perfectly line them up or anything because I'm going to horizontally do it and then I want it to also sit on the bottom and usually or you're going to want it to sit at the very bottom so we'll get rid of the constraint of margins and throw in a zero and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update all frames in the view controller so there we are now all I'm going to do is take our view controller and I'm going to drag our ad banner in and we're going to put it at the top of our class, and we're just going to call it Add Banner. So, something we need to do that you don't always have to do in iOS is, uh, well, usually a lot of things are already incorporated with inside the UI kit, is we're going to actually import the iAd. So that should get rid of that. So we need to also pull in the delegate methods for this, and you'll see why here in just one second. So we're going to do add banner view delegate. That should fix mirrors. Now, the reason we need to pull in the delegate is because it has some functions that are really important for us, and we're going to find them soon. So we're going to do banner view. I'm going to adjust my screen brightness real quick. Banner view did load ad, so we want to know if it did pull in an ad. And basically, if it pulled in an ad, we want to take our banner view, so we'll take add banner, and we want to set its hidden property to false. Because, uh, so if you pull it in, we want it to be shown. And as well as that, we need an add banner. Oh, it's just banner. That makes sense. I have no idea what I'm doing. Banner, view, and then this one, weirdly enough, you'll see is it's it's not written in the name. It's just banner view, and it has a parameter called did fail to receive ad with error. So we're not going to use the error, but we're just going to know if it failed to receive the ad at all, we want the ad banner to be hidden. So we'll say hidden equals true, and now it's it'll be set. And uh, the first thing we want to do in our view did load is we want the ad banner to be hidden. So we'll say hidden equals true. And the reasoning for this is because if a view never, or like if it takes a while for the ad to decide if it's in or not, we want it to just be hidden already and then it'll pull in the ad if it gets one and that's what will happen right here. So there's a couple more things we have to do is uh, we actually have to tell our view that it can contain ads so will its own pretty literally that can display banner ads and we're just going to set that equal to true because we want it to and then also the last thing is we pulled in the delegate method up here but we never actually said that delegate was going to be for this specific banner so we need to say equal self and I'm going to change the color of this background just to give you an idea so you can see it over here so we'll just do like a light green. Now I'm going to run it. Actually, I'm going to run it on a smaller phone. There we go. Let's see if that pulls up. There it is. Always takes forever the first time, but it's loading up. 
Okay, so it has our thing at the top, and as you're seeing, there was no ad, and then it popped up already animated, and then it said there was no, or there is an ad. So this essentially says you pulled in an ad, but you can actually click it and see kind of what it's going to do. So they have their own built-in thing that kind of shows you how you're going to get to learn about it. So we'll pull it over. And increase your monetization with IAD. It lets you do a lot of different things, and you can contact them. But from here, you really just have to get IAD set up. And then sometimes the simulator doesn't like staying in there, so it'll go back. But you have successfully pulled in IAD. Thanks for watching. If there's anything different I could do in these videos, please let me know. And hopefully, this helps you get your app into the app store.